Hello all of you. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most common diseases that we face in work as gastroenterologists. It is a bacteria that colonizes the stomach and it is called Helicobacter pylori. Simply we call it H. pylori. So what's uh, H. pylori and why I, I want to talk about it? Uh, because this bacteria is the most common infection in all over the world. According to some statistics, half of the population in all over the world have H. pylori. And this bacteria usually we catch it during childhood or early adulthood. It can stay in our stomach for years without symptoms and later on it can give symptoms related to our gastroenterology system. Uh, we catch it from maybe foods uh, like uh, fruits, vegetables or even water and as I said it is too much common in many types of fruits and vegetables. Uh, what are the symptoms that can cause this bacteria? It can be sometimes or most of the times it could be without symptoms, asymptomatic or it can give other symptoms for example maybe the patient has bloating heartburn, acidity, reflux, uh, globus pharyngeus, like a sensation of food stuck in the esophagus or in the stomach. It could cause uh, like pain or discomfort between the shoulders, cold hands or feet, palpitation or shortness of breath, headache, dizziness, uh, constipation. Uh, it, it can cause even dark colored stool like dark brown or black colored uh, and uh, in on sometimes it can cause more complications that can present with bleeding from the stomach or from the intestine on the long term if the if we didn't treat h pylori especially over the age of 50 or 60 it can cause stomach cancer of course, not everyone who has H. pylori can end with stomach cancer. But on the other side, the most common cause of stomach cancer is H. pylori because it is too much present in, in all over the world. So uh, how can we detect H. pylori? There are many tests that we can do, uh, either by stool test or blood test or breath test, we call urea breath test, or with some invasive procedures like endoscopy, we can take biopsy or rapid urease test that can detect the H. pylori. When we detect H. pylori, we should treat it. And one of the character characters of H. pylori that it is too much resistant. So this bacteria, we give more than one antibiotic, two or even three antibiotic to eradicate it. So it is very resistant bacteria. And this is one of the characters of H. pylori. After we give a treatment, we should make sure that the uh, bacteria is eradicated. So maybe after one month of ending the treatment, we can do like other tests, uh, repeat the test to make sure that it is eradicated. Uh, with eradication of the H. pylori, we can make sure that the risk of cancer or complications will be much less because not only uh, the problem with H. pylori is related to the risk of cancer, also it can cause ulcers in the stomach or in the small intestine with many complications of the ulcer, either bleeding or perforation or uh, other complications. So uh, it is very important to detect this bacteria in every, pers every per person who is suspected to have H. pylori. And uh, when we uh, treat uh, the H. pylori, uh, we should also detect uh, later on if it is really eradicated or not. Um, I hope that in this case I have given a small review or summary about H. pylori and uh, I hope that we can be aware about this bacteria. Thank you so much for your watching and uh, nice to communicate with you always with my YouTube channel.